Now, some of you may or may not use fusion rifles inside of your damage phases. Maybe it's in between rockets, maybe you're on tractor duty, but fusion rifles are a really good special weapon to use inside of in-game content and can be really good against bosses as well. Looking at you, Merciless. Now, if we're talking about legendary fusion rifles, a few S-tier options that might come to mind would be like a Cartesian coordinate and the community's favorite, a chill clip Riptide. Now, me personally, I used to love using the Riptide with chill clip on bosses. However, I have since changed my ways ever since I crafted this bad boy that you're seeing in the gameplay. Now, Fusion Rifle being none other than the Deliverance from the Vow of the Disciple Raid, we've had access to this bad boy for over a year now. But even still, it goes relatively untalked about compared to its rapid-fire counterpart in the Riptide. Now, if we bring up the purple, you'll see that this Fusion Rifle does have access to Chill Clip as well, like the Riptide does. However, for solely Chill Clip purposes, I would recommend the Riptide still, mainly because since it is a rapid-fire frame, we're able to apply Chill Clip more often, you're able to freeze and slow more enemies, shatter more enemies, and things of that nature. Whereas for the deliverance, what we are using on this is obviously not chill clip, but a perk that no other fusion rifle can get in bait and switch, which of course is the Valid Disciple Raid perk. The big reason why we are harping about bait and switch here is because bait and switch is a 35% damage buff especially with what you have to do in order to actually proc this perk all you have to do is apply damage with your other two guns and then deal damage with whatever gun you have bait and switch on in this case that would be our fusion rifle my main heavy weapons that i like to pair with this fusion rifle are definitely going to be the tractor cannon and the anarchy if you want to be really cheeky you could throw in the volt shot fusion rifle in your energy slot but those are just a few personal examples of weapons that i like to use whenever i am using this fusion rifle but of course it can cook with rockets too for column three some of your best perk options of course demolitionist is going to be up there at the top that's what we have crafted on ours and then maybe compulsive reloader but let's be real you got demo sitting right there why not put that on your fusion rifle one thing to keep in mind is that this is a precision frame fusion rifle so its base charge time is going to be 780 that is why we 1 million percent recommend putting accelerated coils as your column 2 perk and of course a charge time masterwork if you are crafting it which at this point i would assume most people are the raid has been out for a year now but if you don't do vow that often and you got a good one to drop that is what i would be looking for and if you're wondering my column one perk it's small bore so in total everything that we have on our fusion rifle is small bore accelerated coils demolitionist bait and switch both perks are enhanced with a charge time masterwork for column four i feel like i should mention that if you can get surrounded to proc that is going to be a 40% damage buff. Just keep in mind, it can be a little bit finicky depending on the encounter, but it is 5% higher than bait and switch. Just keep that in mind. If you can't proc it, it's useless. Whereas bait and switch, no matter if there's zero enemies, as long as there's a boss, you'll be able to proc that 35% damage buff. If any of you guys out there have crafted or used this fusion rifle, please feel free to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below in the comments. Thank you for giving me about three minutes of your time. That is very generous. I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing. Y'all be safe out there, and we'll see y'all in the next one.